Hey guys, so today we're doing a smoky eye look. I did have to do a voiceover because Olivia was next to me, mom life. But we're gonna start off with tape and priming our eyes and then we'll go into the next step. For me, my smoky eyes, I like to do the transition color pretty dark first and just do like a rough draft and then go keep going in with other colors um you'll see that I go in with like a million times with the transition colors and the dark colors and just kind of switch off really it's all about blending with the smoky eye and um yeah Right now I'm going in with the base and this base makes the black shadow really pigmented. I always go in with the base if I'm using like a full black lid just because I don't want any patchy areas. This base and a lot of bases tend to dry really easily, so go ahead and do it in sections. Um, and I just get like a dense bl a brush like this, and then I'll just try to um, like see how I'm stippling that, and just kind of work it into your crease. And then you can work black shadow on top of that to kind of blend it into the crease. I know you guys are probably cringing because I'm pulling my eye taunt, but I have really wrinkly eyelids, so it just won't work the same if I don't do it that way. Um, also, I just put some black shadow on, and now I'm just blending, adding more blending, and like I said, it is a process, so I swear I was blending for like an hour each eye. I'm not even kidding you. And now I get to take off the tape and it feels so good to take off the tape and I just go in with a baby wipe or a makeup wipe and just clean up the areas. You can see um, there's a lot of fallout, especially when I do a smoky eye, I like to do my eyes first no matter what. And then you're gonna coat your eyes with mascara, put your falsies on, and then I only did one eye on camera because Olivia actually at this point um, soiled her diaper and I had to go change her. So yeah, my filming day process is, it takes a while, it takes a while, but it's so much fun. And right now I'm going in with Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and their highlighter together, um, their liquid highlighter, just because I wanted to glow with my uh, look because I know I'm gonna do a very full coverage look. And having a glow underneath your base really helps you look young instead of like all matte. Now I'm blending my Becca color corrector under my eyes and I'm gonna put foundation over the top of that and um, this is a very, very full coverage look. I wasn't going for subtle today, but I love a full face beat. You know what I mean? There's nothing better than a full face beat.
Now I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape and making sure all that orange is covered up. After I set my under eyes and my forehead, um, just those areas, don't set anything else yet before going into a cream contour. We're using the Shape Shifter palette from Urban Decay. I do have a couple of things to say about this palette. The cream contours blend out great, except for on my forehead, um, but I have a really dry forehead. But I did not like, you'll see, I did not like the powders to set it. I usually set with the translucent powder, which I do, and then I'll go in and set my contour with the color. You'll see what happens. Just keep on watching. As I'm going in, oh, oh my gosh. I thought it was my brush, because I, I hate that brush. I changed brushes. It wasn't the brush, it was the contour. <laughs> See me get pissed? It was the contour palette. Um, or it could have been the foundation underneath it, but I've always used that foundation. So anyways, I just went in with my Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer and it just made everything a little bit different. It, lo it looks like I'm really doing this anger, like pissed, but I promised. It's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know. I was so mad it could be in my head. Oh my gosh. I was so mad because it messed up my contour. But now I'm just going in with a blush and making it look better.
after I'm contouring my nose just a little bit. I usually don't contour my nose, but lately I've been into it and it's actually been looking a little bit better. <laughs> but I don't really have a huge nose. I mean, I do have a big nose, but not huge. Now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty 3D Highlight. I really like this. You have to use the cream before because I feel like if you use the cream right now like I'm doing with the base, like as a base, it looks so much better. Like it stands out so much more. It's a beautiful highlight, it really is. Now I'm lining my lips. I know it looks a little weird and it will look a little weird when I put the nude lipstick on, but I'm gonna blend it out with the wand of my lip gloss. Um, I forgot how much I love the lip gloss from Gerard Cosmetics, the Shimmer of Hope one. It's seriously so bomb. It's like one of my favorite lip glosses. So there's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and until next time, I will see you later.